they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frowns. You can't hop out, then we clearing the Watch how you speak when you talking to me. You kissing that nigga, he kissed my feet. We not the same, maybe fucking with me. You fight over dick, I'm a open. What's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town today. We got a special guest, Asian Joel. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's get, let's play a game. Let's get you warmed up. So, I'm gonna ask you a question. First thing that comes to mind. Last song you listened to? Um, I can look. Okay, yeah. I don't know what's. I don't know. Last song you listened to? I'm curious to see because I'll be playing a lot of shit. What's the last song? Let's, I'm going to go to this one. Oh, I. It don't show me. All right, so I think the last song, really Gunna. I would just listen to the Gunna album. Okay. Mistress. That's okay. the last song, I guess. What's your favorite color? Pink. What's your sign? Sagittarius. What's you? What's your favorite one hit wonder? Ah uh, damn. <laughs> uh, Hurricane Chris. Okay, okay, niggas don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one thing you hate about New York City. Brats, coldness. It's just fucking cold. This should, like if like if New York was just like hot all the time, this should be busting. Cause yeah. it's already busting, but like yeah, it's just too cold. Um, favorite app. Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, my favorite, Twitter for sure. Artist that needs to be free from jail. Who oh, poop free poop shiesty? <laughs> it's a lot of niggas in jail. Free the gang, free everybody. Yeah, everybody in jail. Um, most underrated artist. I say Belly. Okay, and stranded on the island. What's three things you need? Stranded on the island. Mm -hmm. I need my nigga. <laughs> I need a phone and food. We Gucci. Okay. All right. So, how was your birthday? Good. My shit was busting. Okay. You partied here? Partied yeah. Partied where else? I partied in Miami. I came to New York. Mm -hmm. That's really yeah. I was trying to really be low-key for my B-Day, but everybody around me was excited, so I'm, it made me excited. But, yeah. yeah. This is Miami and New York. Why was you trying to be low-key? Because, bro, on my birthdays, I always have big, massive parties. And then when I went to jail... Mm -hmm. I was in jail and I was just sitting there thinking like I'm not having a party. So I had too much time to think about my whole life. I had figured my whole life out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not having a party. I'm not doing that. I'm about to go low key. I'm about to chill. So that's what really Asian, made me not want to have a Asian party. Asian going low key. It's no I, vlogs is gonna catch you, bro. I tried. It <laughs> don't work. Vlogs is gonna keep up with it. So like, it was a rumor saying that you was moving to New York City, bro. It's a lot of rumors <laughs> about me in New York City. <laughs> I want to move to New York City. You I used do? to stay in New York. I stay in Jersey. I stay in Fort Lee. Okay. But I don't think I can move back to New York only because it's too. It's too just like drama. Not even drama. I ain't scared of drama. I just feel like um. Cold rats. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, I like out of this. I like coming to New York, being outside for like a week, mm -hmm. then dip. Like if okay. I be out in New York all the time, I'm gonna be like too excessive. I'm gonna be everywhere. So, okay. Yeah. So coming and leaving. Coming and leaving is the best thing for me. Okay, but you don't think you're gonna stay out here for sure? I did. I liked it. I loved it. Oh, yeah, but yeah. I don't think I probably do move. Come back. Stay, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Depends. Not now though. Okay, so let's talk about your project. Let's do a drill. Yes, let's talk about it. So, what inspired that project? When I first came to New York, I linked um, artists, and I was doing like songs and shit, mm -hmm. and it was like became like. Viral. Okay. It's like Asian Daughters in New York, drill this, drill that. It was just crazy. It was just like viral. Yeah. And I had made a video and I was like, let's do a drill. Where my nigga at? Let's do a drill. I was like talking. Yeah, in the car. In the car. Yeah. So I was in the car, like, let's do a drill, let's do a drill. And that shit went viral. But I'm not, I never ex would expect that to go viral. I see a lot of shit. I just be seeing <laughs> shit. Like, I'm just a lit ass person. Yeah. I'm just lit as fuck. And I'm always fucking talking. So I'm like, let's do a drill. Shit went viral. Everybody was talking about it. It was just crazy. They like, oh, Asian door in New York looking for a drill. And I don't let the ops see this. Like, it was just crazy. So I'm like, when I, I'm like, I had to drop a project. Mm -hmm. It was around I had to, uh, time I had to drop a project. I needed a name. So I'm just sitting there thinking like, so let's do a drill. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how it went. Do a drill tape. Okay. That's how it went. 
And um, was you specific on who you wanted on the tape? No, I was just really just like vibing. When I come to um, came to New York too. It's like when I keep seeing come to New York. Not like this my first time, but, but yeah. like this generation when it comes to like rap and the drill artists. Yeah. So um, I would just do songs with different people. Like if I I was like if I seen you or if I heard you, then I'd be like, oh yeah, I like that person. Or I want to do a song with that person. Mm -hmm. Like I'm very vocal when it comes to like who I want to do songs with because I don't do songs with people I don't want to do songs with. Okay. So like. I wasn't like picky on who was gonna be on the tape, but I know for sure that like my team and at the time mm -hmm. and different people was like, why are you doing songs with all these underground artists? Like who is these people? Who is these niggas? Who is Moolah G's and who is these niggas? Mm -hmm. Like they was really like trying to like go crazy on me about that. Like why are you doing this? Why you gonna go get, why you gonna put the song out with you and 42 Dugs and Ice World Visa or why you gonna do this and that? So. Mm -hmm. I, I had a, a lot of backlash by um, collabing with the, all the underground artists. That's now mainstream. Most of them mainstream now. Yeah. Artists back then. But I seen the vision. And I liked the work. And I, like, believed in it. So I did the shit. And nobody really can't tell me what to do. Like, nobody <laughs> telling me shit. I do what I want to do, bro. So no regrets? No. no, no regrets. I loved it. I wish I could have did more. Mm -hmm. I could have put more songs. They asked me for 12. I gave them 20. Yeah, 21. Like, I overdid it. <laughs> so, nah, no regrets. Right. So, but you and 4 1 is definitely close. Yes. People thought you was 4 1 at one point. <laughs> People thought I was 4 1. Niggas <laughs> was the DOA shit. Yeah. The, uh, being with Fabi and them. Yeah. I feel like it's like they just, I don't know. I feel like everybody love me. They be just trying to click me with anybody that I'm like around. But I love 4 1. Definitely 4 1, 300. Yeah. I love like who I love. Yeah, those song means. So, um, so do you feel like you like helped their career though, in a sense? Um, cause you're saying that they all the mainstream now, so. Yeah. I, um, I really feel like everybody is talented. Mm -hmm. So I just seen talent, and I didn't care whether they had like five k followers or they had a hundred thousand followers. I just mm -hmm. knew that it was going to happen for them. I seen it like, and like I came around and just like. Gave them something that he didn't have, so I just feel like I was like probably like the one of the first, you know, lit artists to just like be like, oh nah, I fuck with y'all. Cause a lot of artists are scared to like do songs with like underground artists at the time mm -hmm. because of the potential, or they just be so full of themselves towards like they be like, uh, whatever. I'm finna go try to get a Drake feature. You know what I mean? <laughs> so with me, I just like I be around. I be in the streets. I be around. So mm -hmm. yeah. So you heard them being talked about for sure. Yeah. And like I said, how do you, what are your thoughts on like the whole New York beef? Like, how it's crazy. Side, don't with that side, and you can't do songs with these people because they don't mess with those people. Yeah, it's crazy. It's definitely divided uh, in triangles. <laughs> this shit is divided the fuck up. It's a lot of gangs, a lot of drama, it's a lot of beef. I feel like the only thing that I really see like a real flaw is that like say if, like you have a disagreement with somebody, mm -hmm. like they, they they are like. Be like, fuck you, fuck your dad, woo. Like, they just take it there. Mm -hmm. It ain't no, like, you know how some niggas, like, try to, like, area. yeah, you know how them niggas, the wreck niggas take it there from the time you even, like, rubbed in the wrong way. It's no comment down or it's like, I'm going to let you slide. So that's why I feel like it just, all y'all, all them act like, I feel like, yeah, like, all New York niggas, they just, like, I like it, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This shit get tiring, bro. I know. <laughs> That's why I gotta. I'm not staying here. I'm dipping. I just yeah. come and dip. So um, so top of the year, it was with Dougie, Miles, <laughs> and Jada, and like this connect happened somewhere throughout the year. So like, but it seemed like all in all, you be wanting the best for everybody, and you be trying to like see the positive in every situation. Do you like? Feel like you do that too much? Yeah, I feel like I do it that too much, and sometimes out of all the times that I do it, it's, it it like you don't always go as like how I plan or how I vision it. You feel mm -hmm. me? So it's just like different. It's like you can't help everybody. I feel like so I learned that I would have never learned if them situations would never have happened, or if I would never met them people, I would never learn. Like damn, you really can't help everybody. I used to feel like I can help everybody. I used to want to help everybody that that came across me because people used to look at me for help. I'd be like, damn, like, I can help you. 
Mm-hmm. But they taught me a lot, though. Like, it really just taught me. And, you know, how the tables turn, literally. We don't get to that. But it just taught me a lot, too, like, with that shit. When, I, when that shit happened, I already knew that the situation was, like, the real was going to come out. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Because it's just, like, people always try to put this persona on me. And they just go straight to the internet. I feel like I, you go on the internet, you be like, Asian dog, fuck my homie. It like you seeing an Asian dog and anything that pertain my name is my name is so sensitive when it comes to social media. Yeah. It's some New York shit. <laughs> <laughs> but my name so sensitive when it comes to social media, they ready. So it's just like I feel like you could just people take advantage of that. Like yeah. when you no longer like I want them in your space or you just doing you, they'll take advantage of that. So I feel like that was a situation that they t- tried to take advantage of and then it didn't happen in nobody's favor. Like I copped a big ass chain. I got a hell of shit. I got a publishing deal. I'm not even really signed. I'm really like lit and I make all my money on my all my masters. Mm-hmm. I do all my shows, like I get everything a hundred percent. So it's like So that was just a lesson oh, learned. Lesson. Can't help everybody. But even as far as like Jada, y'all not cool no more. Like, do you like feel like? Do you feel like? Like, what do you think? Nah, I really don't give a fuck about none of these bitches, bro. Like, oh, okay, I really don't. I really don't give a fuck about none of these bitches. Like, bitches is not seeing me. Bitches don't want to see me. Like, and even if you was, see, you can't. You can't fuck with me. So I ain't even worrying about shit. I really not. I don't really care about nobody. I was cool with nobody who I'm not cool with. I don't give a fuck. Like, if it's up, it's up. If it's niggas, everybody, that's what it is. But I'm not falling short on my end, so fuck okay. you talking about. So Okay, okay. And your status, are you in a relationship? Are you single? Like, what's the... I really got hoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on? Because... I really got them hoes. Like, it did... All these people tell my Asian <coughs> dog it is. Asian dog a whole Asian dog. Because people like, was claiming uh, wow. Like, that's why I feel like, too, like... But my situations, niggas be ready to claim me, bro. Mm-hmm. So it's like people always like, oh, Asian dog always fall in love quick. These niggas fall in love with me quick. Fuck is you talking like <laughs> fuck? Like I'm a female at the end of the day, and I never had a stage to where I was like dating. And like, when I first came out, like you, who like who people see me with? Like you see me Perry Rock. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, people thought y'all was a thing. It, Izzy, you you right, Izzy. Yeah, niggas yeah. out, y'all was Izzy. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah, like, exactly. I was always dating. It was never, like, it was always a dating thing. Like, okay. and I, niggas like me. Like, feel, so like niggas be trying to cut me. <laughs> so what's the dating stage for Asian? A dating stage of me. Y'all out, y'all taking pictures, y'all flying. I look trying. so, a lot of this shit be paid promotion. <laughs> 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 like, all right, boom. So, a uh, dating with me, I, I ain't gonna lie. My birthday was just. Wednesday, mm-hmm. so you know I got I, I, after my birthday I kind of grew up into a woman. Like I upped it on niggas. I'm on jets now, and like mm-hmm. I had to up it. But I feel like with me, you gotta like I really nigga. I used to date niggas. Like I used to like how I put this, bro. <laughs> I used to date if I liked you or if I seen like something in you type mm-hmm. shit. What was your question? What was the question? I said, what's it like dating Asian? Like, oh, just, what is like dating me? Yeah, like, are we going on trips? Are we in spots? Oh, we, dating me is fun. Like, what are we doing? Like, do they get the public pictures or they got to wait for that? Oh, one? yeah, see, okay, look, so boom, <laughs> this is how this shit go. If you a fiend, I'm going to stop there, like, from the jump. Mm-hmm. Like, I really know how to speak. Like, I know how to speak my mind when it comes to with niggas. I like I like seeing everything as it happened. Yeah. So, if I get a vibe to you where you want some, like, you just fiending for, like, to post me or anything. Or if you're not even, on, especially if you're not on my level. Like, the ones that's not on my level, like, you can't post me. You can't nothing. Like, you cannot do that. Mm-hmm. Like, for real. But mm-hmm. other than that, like, I feel like I be just, like, I'm just a vibe. I like your best friend. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like that's what... Like, my relationship's really bad. I'd be like a friendship. I'm big on, like, friendship. And then, you know, like, the romance and shit, that come, that come second. But right. I like your friend. I don't judge you. I don't look down on you. I, like, encourage you. Like, mm-hmm. feel me? So, they me is like a blessing. Okay. Okay. So, do you feel like you have a type? Yes. So, what's the type? Like, bro, everybody, <laughs> everybody know my type. It's like everybody know my type. I don't want to be like 
Hey, but you know my type. Because What's my type? They was rappers. People <laughs> would say, but you, they say you was dating a model, the um, fashion boy. Alton? Yeah. I was not dating. I, I, but the Alton, you got to get into him. Alton is like one of the top models in the black male top models in the industry. He just yeah. did the he opened up for Fendi. He do like Diesel. He do fucking Vogue. He been on Vogue cover um, like multiple times. Right. He like a really superstar. And like with him, like he's different. Like mm-hmm. he's like a vibe. So I was like proud that that's my friend. Like he's mm-hmm. like really fucking talented. And he's like big. But people don't like got a light shine on like black models, that right. industry. But I mean, Alton is definitely not dating. I love him. I would like to date somebody like him. Like he's like <laughs> fire. But okay. we're not dating. I think he's. I don't want, like I don't know. I think he's probably got some shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got anything going on. Oh my! All right. So top of the year, you was saying you was talking about signing artists and stuff like that. You mm-hmm. still playing on signing artists? Yeah. Okay. So with signing artists, I feel like top of the year, I um definitely had the vision, mm-hmm. and um I definitely like wanted to do a lot. I feel like as time go by, I don't like. I I still want to sign artists, but I feel like I just helped them get to a deal more than like you gotta get paid for that, bro. Like, yo, that's true. That's that's true. Everybody tell me that. Everybody yeah. tell me that. But I don't even want the stress. I don't want the stress. I don't want so nothing. You don't want to have be responsible for artists. I don't want to be responsible for artists. I don't be responsible for none. I want to <laughs> just like help you. Want to help it grow. Yeah, I got my blessing. I got my. I feel like my blessing. Like, that's a part of my blessing to help others. To help others. My position, like, so. Definitely, definitely want to sign. A, I'm Like, my dream is to sign, like, three girls. Mm-hmm. That's my dream. Like, I really want to sign three girls. So I, bad. Yeah, you could do that. That's possible. So bad. Like, three little drill girls. And they got to be drilled. They have to, they have to talk that shit. They yeah. first language got to be drill. <laughs> they, okay. could, they could do the melodic shit. Cool. Now nah, we're going to teach them. But they first language gotta be drilled. Like they gotta read, know how to talk shit. Mm-hmm. Like, and then they gotta you gotta like be able to mean it. Like, okay. that's my dream. Okay, so with the title Queen of Drill, that's me. <laughs> well, did you think all the um, drama and stuff was gonna come with that title? Nah, I feel like nah, cause like even with a lot of titles, like I always label myself. Like I feel so good about myself. Like I call myself the hardest doll. Mm-hmm. That started a lot of controversy, but I'm, you know, the hardest doll, literally. Um, the rawest, the prettiest, the cutest. Mm-hmm. All these names, like, you know, everybody be saying on Twitter, oh, the prettiest. Yeah. Like, I've been calling myself these names. I always do that. It's like self, it's like my ego, like my mm-hmm. outside, my inner ego. Mm-hmm. So I feel like when I did the Queen of Drill, the shit that at the time that I was doing with Drill, um, it wasn't even like a, oh, I'm just queen of the world. <laughs> It wasn't like that type of vibe when I okay. said it. I feel like the shit that I was that was going on with drill and like the stuff that I was doing and the, and like the shit that was going on, that's queen shit. The shit that I was doing for people was queen shit, mm-hmm. like queen of drill. Mm-hmm. And if a bitch was a vet in the game and you did this and you did that and you want to respect, I feel like your crown should never tilt for the next woman. Like if you a queen, you a queen. No matter if if you the queen of soccer, no matter if you the queen of tennis, like whatever yeah. you feel like you you do, you mm-hmm. do it best. You the queen. You a yeah. queen at the end of the day. So I feel like it was just taken out of proportion, like always. Okay. Like, but yeah, bitches just be dick eating. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, Katie got bands did an interview with um Vlad, and she was saying like. You disrespected her city and her throne. Her city disrespects her every day. So, how I'm, like, bitches, like, they just tweet my songs and tweet me and DM me and write me. Mm-hmm. And, you feel me? Like, follow me. I don't need, I never follow back, ever. So, it's just, like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, bitches act like I just, bitches act like Asian door really fell from a tree or fell from the sky and just landed on earth and just started doing shit. I've been doing this. Everything that I'm doing now, I've been doing. I just have money now. I'm in a good position. Like, I've grinded and put in work. So, None of this shit that I'm doing, how I rap, the shit I rap about, my ad libs, everything that I say, I've been doing this shit. Mm-hmm. Like I've been doing this, so this is not nothing new. I'm not no new. I didn't come out of nowhere. I've done this. Shit. I've been doing this shit, and I'm the queen of whatever the fuck I say. Okay, 
Do you feel like um? Do you feel like I guess not for you, but like for new people, they should give flowers to the OGs, or you feel like the OGs should look out for the newbies? What do you think about that? I think it's vice versa. I think everybody should just show love, mm-hmm. um, basically, and we learning how to do that too from like past experience in the industry, like putting mm-hmm. people against each other and females against each other and shit like that. But I feel like everybody should just show love. I feel like the OGs should show love to the youngies, and the youngest should show love to the OGs. Um. Yeah, cause if if not, the shit, the shit is just gonna keep crashing. Mhm. Yeah, I mean, you be looking out though for the newbies. I feel like I do, and bitch, that people that's really on my dick, making it seem like I'm not, and I'm a horrible person. Like they can really eat it up every time. You feel like people think you're a horrible person? I feel like that's a drag. I feel like not horrible. Yeah, they do. Like yeah, I feel like people be having this, this, this persona of me. Already, like, before I meet people, because mm. I don't let, like, let a lot of people in my presence. Yeah. Facts. So, when I meet people, they be having in their head that I'm mean. Like, that shit be making me so mad. They be like, oh, I thought you was mean. You're so nice. <laughs> Even after I get my hair done or anything, they be like, oh, my God, I thought you was so mean. You're so nice. I think it's the music. It could be the music. It could be the tweets. But I'm like, <laughs> my tweets is going t- for the ops or the people that I'm talking shit to. It's not yeah. for everybody. Like, right. I'm a cool ass person. Like, everybody that really know me, that's why they go hard for me because I'm really a cool ass person. It's just like, I'm just like, I don't know. It's, it's just social media, bro. Yeah, it's social media. So, do you, do you like, what's it, how do you feel about social media and the blogs and everything? Are you tired of it? Like, what do you think? Um, sometimes it get annoying. Most of the time, it get annoying. <laughs> I've been doing it for a minute, though, but so I know how to, like, not let it too much hurt my feelings. Yeah. That's why my my cloud bags be so, like, violent, because it's just, like, that's me protecting y'all. Like, y'all not finna hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all not finna make me feel sad or nothing. So here I'm her going shot back right back at you. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you just got to have tough skin. You got to be built for this shit. And I feel like when you sign up to be an artist or anything with the industry, you got to be ready for that. You're not ready for that. You're not gonna survive. Yeah, I was gonna say even marketing, like even like you don't you drop music often, but even still staying in the blog, people but seem to I guess stay relevant. So people say like you're pretty good at marketing yourself. Um, cause I've been doing it for like since I was like I started rapping. I was in high school, mm. so it was like Facebook and shit like that. Now I've been on Twitter, but I got like I just I don't know. I just do it. <laughs> so it's just natural at this point. At this point, it's just natural. Okay, okay. okay. It's not planned. So when you, yeah, when you got locked up, it was so like out of nowhere. What happened? Um, when I <laughs> niggas is like, I ain't gonna lie. When I got locked up, I was in jail. Like, bro, I cannot wait to come home and treat everybody that's playing with me on this internet. But I got locked up. I was speeding. I was on my way to a show. I don't even drive. Mm-hmm. There's no one. I do not be driving, bro. And we had a show from Atlanta to go to Alabama, mm-hmm. and it's like two hours away. So, so I'm driving. I'm like, no, no, no. We had rented cars. Like I wanted to be flashy. I wanted to pull up. I had bought my Mungler outfit. Mm-hmm. I had got my new stilettos. Like I was doing my shit. So I'm like, I'm about to drive to the show, and I had to like really, like really up it because I was hosting an event with somebody that I used to talk to. And I ain't talk, you know. So I had to really pop my shit. Yeah. So. I really rented some cars. I had my team follow behind me. My best friend had flew in. We in the car. This and I went to jail with him a month before that for like a gun charge. So he really, I think he bad luck because I keep getting locked up with him. Okay. But so this we in the car. I'm playing like let me hear your new music. I'm playing my new music. I just start speeding, mm-hmm. speeding, and I seen the police when I did it. I seen them, and I still kept speeding, and I just knew I was gonna get pulled over. But I knew when I got pulled over. Cause I, I feel like when I was speeding, it was too late anyway to slow down. Yeah. And, like I just okay. kept speeding, shit, and I pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled over. He like, man, let me see your license and registration. So you know, I'm, I handed my my passport because I had just be a, a charge. So I'm like, you know, I ain't got nothing on me. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I handed my passport. I knew I didn't have a, a um license. license. I act like I had a license. I didn't have a license. Like I just straight. I ain't gonna lie a lot about that. Okay. So I'm like. Yeah, he like, you got a license? I'm like, yeah, you just got to look it up. I don't got it on me. So he go back. He like, oh, man, we didn't see your um, license. But can you step out the car? When he said that, because the car didn't smell like weed and nothing. Like, you know, down, like they can smoke up here. Yeah. Down south, when you get pulled over, you they smell any weed, they turn your car up. Okay. Finding, that's how they find everything. Okay. 
So they couldn't search the car. So he, I get out the car. He like, you under the arrest. You have a warrant out for your arrest. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all, bro, that's why my people be like, oh, your mug shot so pretty. I got dressed up to go to jail. Like, I was fresh. Yeah. Smelling good. Everything. And I was in the car 30 minutes and got pulled up with the jail for three weeks. That's what happened. So niggas like, oh, she couldn't get bonded out. And then my charge was a failure to appeal. Everybody know failure to appeals. You don't get in the bond. Mm-hmm. So that's what happened. Right. So, um, so yeah, you were saying that, like, people wasn't answering and you was going to start moving different when you got out? Yeah, I do. Like, even my birthday party, a lot of shit is private now. It showed me when I was in jail, um, I was just, like, it was like a lesson learned because it wasn't like I'm in there for murder or I'm about to do hard time. Right. So I was in there really just thinking, and it really just, like, sh- like I was bonding with the girls that was in jail, mm-hmm. they older, everybody got different stories and shit. Yeah. So it really just made me, like, snap into reality, or like, the real, the real world. So it was just, like, a lesson learned. I just started thinking about everything, like, Mm-hmm. People wasn't answering me. People thinking I'm in jail for forever. They not answering. Mm-hmm. Not doing like trying to put money. Like even though I don't need it, but when you in jail, you have no access to your money. You have no access to nothing. So yeah. you gonna always need a trustworthy person on the outside to help you. And people like that. When you go to jail, you thinking like, oh, my my homie got me. Old oh, time, your homie steal all your shit, and you come home with nothing. Mm-hmm. People move funny when you in jail, though. I feel like so. I, I it opened my eyes. I, they taught me like don't fuck with no more broke niggas. Like I'm not fucking with broke niggas. Like I don't care. I don't like. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I don't care how much I like you. I believe in you. I'm not fucking with broke niggas, bro. Like I'm not doing it. Okay. So so niggas was moving broke while you was in there. Niggas was moving broke. Okay. Like niggas was moving broke. Even if you was broke, you got like. Cause I know you broke. <laughs> but like, damn, come up with something. Like something. Like it wasn't even like a. A effort, and I'm like, <gasps> like, what you gonna do that to me? My yeah, nigga. so now all my niggas gotta have motion, bro. Okay, jail taught me a lot. All right, okay. So moving forward, it's the end of the year, 2023. What's your plans? 2023 is to drop more music, do more interviews, just do more like industry shit. Just mm-hmm. like literally tap into my like, superstar and just okay. like really go up. So twenty and I'm finna shoot my TV show. I'm excited about that. Drop more records okay. and just really just show the world like the real me. I feel like that's my goal. So TV show about you and your life. My life, yes. Okay. So we gonna get into other stuff in that. Yes, it's gonna show all the, like all this shit going viral about the dress. People say I ain't pay for the dress. Like, people will really see the, like, the real behind-the-scenes shit. I got a birthday dress, mm-hmm. and I had, like, three different people make a dress. Yeah. And then the one of the ladies' dress I didn't wear on my birthday, but I had plans to wear the shit. Yeah. She like a ballroom. It was so bad, but I didn't wear it because I didn't know I was going to do my birthday, but the shit went viral. So I just wish, like, I was filming so people can, like, see, like, the behind-the-scenes of, like, the dress. Right. It be, like, little details and little things. They be viral <laughs> on the Internet. They be little pieces in my life. So I just really just want, like, the world just to see what the fuck really be going on with me. Right. Like, that's, that's, that's it. But, yeah, you went live and, like, cleared up the story with the dress, though. Yeah, but I feel like, too, when I go live and it's, like, me being, it's going to be a little ignorance in it because it's, like, I'm, I'm, like, on defense. Right. So, like, I didn't even want to do that. And I don't even remember what I said. I probably just said some smart shit, like, (laughs) fuck y'all or some shit because, like, I was already mad. So that's why I tried to go live. I don't go live no more. Yeah. I used to go live all the time. I do not go live no more. Mm-hmm. Don't go live. Yeah, I feel like in New York, that's, that's the thing right now, going live. Yeah, y'all are crazy. <laughs> that is sick. That like, is the thing right I'm now. I'm not going live with my ops. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Like, no. Being in New York, it's going to happen at least one time. This your girl, Asian Dub. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Asian the Brat. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter at Asian the Brat with three T's. Um, What else? I don't got, I don't got Facebook. TikTok? Asian the um Brad, follow me on TikTok at Asian Door underscore. I think it got a blue check though. I think, I think, yeah. But okay, 